Without an intro, let's just get right into it. So today I got these hole punches and previously I got like cheap ones off Amazon, but I actually got real ones from the leather store today. And this is a double one. This is a single one. I should have probably got a five one as well, but oh well, I just ended up getting a double one. But I haven't used these really before. As I said, I had cheap ones, but these are like legit. These are as good as they come. Now I did cover the backside with leather because I'm using like a normal hammer and I've had previous things where it actually smashed the top of the middle. So I just covered it with some leather because there's no reason to go get a mallet right now in my opinion but i got a single one and a double one these are each two millimeters so that's like the distance between i think between each prong that's what i'm guessing but let's talk about how to use these because previously i had no idea how to use these so the tools you need in order to use this hole punch is first of all you need a mat to hammer all the things on i've had this for a long time now and this is a rubber one i don't know the difference between this one or other ones but i got this one at the leather store that's all i needed to use as well as a hammer i mean you should probably be using a mallet but as i said i I covered it with leather and we should be good and then last what you use with this is an actual like hand sew needle so this is like a leather hand sew needle i got this i got this whole pack actually for 2.99 so they're very cheap so what i pretty much did was i just got my thread that i would use in my sewing machine i don't know if i'm supposed to be doing this or not but i mean it's working so far it's actually working really great i just get this and this is number 69 i thread it through here i get like a certain amount of length right and then i get a second needle and i pretty much like weave it inside and out inside now it's kind of like ditching the midsole and we just go in and out in and out i'm currently using these for a stitch that like a sewing machine wouldn't really get to as well as like it just changes up the look and makes it more classy because i might be you know applying this more to jordan's i don't know how i would honestly i i don't know how i would but these are like coming in really good help because they're actually fun to use once you get a hold of them so i'm using this technique on this handle and this is pretty much an area where my sewing machine wouldn't be able to get to and it's looking pretty clean i actually really Really like how it's turning out i also stitched it on the leather right there and that's another area that the sewing machine just really can't get to it but my process in doing this is first i got cord and this is some cord that i've been using on upholstery stuff so you see there's a cord in there and it's wrapped with leather. So all that I did was I wrapped leather around it and this wasn't the thickness that I liked. I wanted it a little bit more thicker. So I just went with the brown leather cause I had brown leather laying around and then I wrapped it with the blue leather that I actually wanna use. So we got this, it kind of looked like this. It now looks like this. I also opened up the edges and all these are from my previous video that I made. If you want to go check that out, how I make patterns, how I'm able to, you know, make patterns from scratch without any using anything. And this is what we're doing so far. So it's coming out pretty cool, but kind of let's talk about how I'm using this because before this video and even like a couple days ago, I had no idea how to do it. So this is a technique that I've seen all over the internet. You know, mostly leather workers are doing this and they pretty much do this on their whole project, not even just like a sewing machine. Machine. they'll literally just hand stitch the whole project and in the past i was like i don't know that doesn't really make sense because i have a sewing machine and then i would kind of shortcut myself or like just pass steps and try to like shove the sewing machine in there and get the stitch down and it would help but sometimes it would not go right so like learning this step is very beneficial now i don't know where i'm gonna use this for sneakers now i do use it for the midsole obviously i hand stitched the midsole onto it but i feel like i wanted i wanted to learn this just so then i do know the steps these steps and these processes unless like we get to there where i do apply to a jordan so this is my little workstation for tonight i got my mat right here I got the two prong that I'm gonna be using as well as I might use a single one, but mainly just a double one for this project. But we got the handle taped down as you can see, it's looking pretty cool. And the other side's already stitched, but I'm just starting with the front. So I'll align it, I'll get, you know, the lining that I want. So you need your spacing on the outside to the inside. And now that I have it lined up, I just hold it down. There you go. And then I pretty much try to fight it out, fight it out and boom pretty easy you know it's not too complicated I could go on this side as well I should probably go this side and that's how I'm doing my spacing so then I'll space it out right there because there's two of them now I don't know if this one went through all the way we'll just do this one again because obviously you got to make it go through all the way because then we'll be using the back side in order to stitch it but I literally do this process all the way around and unfortunately it's time consuming but oh well you know but i'm gonna finish this and then we're gonna stitch it so now that all the holes are punched i'm just gonna get my thread and as i said this is number 69 i use a bunch of different other ones but this is just the main thread that i use i'll get kind of like a yay 
arm's length, not too much, just because this is a really small project. And then we'll cut it. And then after that, I'm gonna get these two needles that I showed you earlier. And we're gonna get one side of the thread and the other side of the thread. Well, each side of the thread will be tied into one needle. So I'll do this, I'll make like three or four different knots and then I'll do it on the other side and then each side of the thread should have a needle. So I got my two needles, and as you can see, each side of the thread is tied on each needle. And now what I'm gonna do is we made all those holes. So I'm gonna get the first needle, and I'm gonna go through the first hole just like that, and then I'm gonna pass it all the way through. And normally I'm using both of my hands with this. It's just a little bit harder. Now I pull it through, and then what I, at least what I'm doing, because this is how I do the midsoles, is that I pull it up so then they're both even. I'll reach down here and I'll pinch it just so each side is even, as I said, and then you pretty much start stitching. So you got the one needle, you pass through the next hole, you pull it through. If you could pull it through, these holes are not as open as the other one. And now we got them both pulling out of there. And now I'll get the second needle that we haven't used yet that that's still on this side. And we'll put it on the opposite side through the back side of the hole. And you pretty much keep on stitching it like this and you will get a stitch. But I mean, I was talking a little slow there, but you keep on doing that and you do it all the way around and you get a really clean stitch. So we'll do that again. Boom, boom, boom. We'll pass through, we'll pull it through. And now we'll get the other one that was still on the other side and we'll pass it through. So then we have one needle, one thread on each side again. And you pretty much continuously just doing that. Now it's hard to pull through because I tie a, a big knot, but the last thing I want is for the stinking thread to come loose and then it gets all messed up. But this one's giving me a hard time and I haven't even had this much of a hard time off camera. I'm gonna stitch the rest of it and then I'll show you the final product. So it's all stitched and now the threads are both hanging out of the back. And what I'm doing, I don't even know if this is official, but this is what works 100% of the time. I'll cut the thread. So now we just have two loose threads. And if I sit it on my chest, I'll literally just tie it in a knot and then I'll double knot it and then I'll triple knot it and then it'll all be good to go. So we got one, then we got two, then we got three, and that bad boy pretty much ain't going nowhere because this is also the inside and the liner will be stitched onto there. So boom, cut it like that. That's fine, look at that. Little purse, how you doing? Come, hey, let's go. I wanted to make a video on this because previously before this, I had no idea how to do this, how to even hand stitch this or anything. So we'll walk through it again. You got the hole punches, you punch through the leather, you do that with a mallet, not really a hammer, but I covered it with leather, so I'm using a hammer. Second, you use a mat, you got the mat right, boom, 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 boom. You poke out all the holes, you get two of the sewing needles like this, you tie the thread through it. As I said, I'm using a, a thread 69, you could use whatever thread you are, but that's what I use because that's what I use on my sewing machine. After that, we just hand stitch it, you know, call it a day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check this video out right here. Boop.